<clears throat> okay, we're at the historic Coconut Grove Cemetery, also known now as the um, oh, Charlotte Jane Memorial Park Cemetery. It's sectioned off by fences into three areas, um, and I'm not sure which has precedence over the other. Um, this says Charlotte Jane Annex, the little one over here. Uh, there's a sign out there that says Coconut Grove uh, Cemetery. And then the other side over here says the Charlotte Jane. So uh, I'm not sure if there's any real significance in terms of division. But um, this is an old Bohemian Cemetery. They've tried to call it about six different things in the in, in the little sign out there but they seem to just step all over themselves trying to be <laughs> I don't know what they're trying to be but this is a Bahamian cemetery this is a black cemetery Bahamians were and are black people Africans brought over by the English to the Bahamas uh, and eventually made their way over here um, I'm not sure what the Indian population of the Bahamas was, but you don't see a lot of mixed. Everybody pretty much is Bahamian. It's either English, British, European, or African. Total, straight up, no mix African. Um, unlike what we've seen in a lot of the other uh, countries where you see mixes of People of Indian descent who speak Spanish, people of Spanish descent who speak Spanish, and you can tell the, the phrenological difference between them just, you know, on site. It's, it's a different racial makeup. Um, and that's the way this is here to the extent that it is straight up African people of Bahamian, you know, who, who were Bahamian. And they moved over here and became American. And they moved over here because of the uh, the soil, the, the farming conditions, better opportunities, that sort of thing. And we're we're literally, you know, we could practically throw a stone over the Bahamas from here. We're we're in Miami. Uh, we're south of Miami. We're in off uh, not too far from the coast. So these people moved over here. They settled here. There was a specific island, I read it on the sign, Eleuthera, I can't pronounce it correctly, I can't even remember the exact spelling, but it was Eleuthera or Lethera, something like that. And they moved over uh, pretty much from that island to this section. And that's what we have now. And as you can see, um, this, these are all uh, very, very, very similar, if not identical. I don't know why, I don't understand it. I have to do more research on it. I had no idea what I was gonna see when I came over here, so I, I just had no idea what this was gonna look like, but um, they're all, the stones are all almost identical. There's a little bit of difference here and a little bit of difference there, but you could probably pick five different stones and it would be every, every one of them. What I noticed here, that is different than the other historic cemeteries that we typically see is there's almost no vandalism. And that is because this cemetery holds the kin of the people that live in the surrounding neighborhood. These people haven't moved down anywhere. These are all the same folks living right up around here generation after generation after generation and so you don't you don't see the kind of vandalism that we see in other places where people have the people who who are whose kin uh, are interred there are long since gone and the, the area has been completely uh, I can't even think of the right word for it but it's been it's been altered let's just say it's not the same it's not the same place um that's not the case here. This neighborhood's the same as the people buried here, which is kind of cool. 
At least you don't see a lot of cracked open stones. A lot of busted up monuments. Very few monument monuments at all of any kind. As you can see, it's mostly just the these, these type of crypts or vaults or I don't even know what the heck they're called. Don't see them that much. See a few here, see a few there in most of our historic cemeteries, but so this is certainly a, a notable, noteworthy cemetery. Very, very interesting, very cool for what it is. I see a couple that are of these stones that are like freshly painted. And which tells me again that there there are uh, there are kin that still come here. Very cool. Now we're going to shut it down and move on.